Hi everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to look at the Key Blast Ultimates of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and which ones I feel are the best ones for completing parallel quests. The last video was on the Strike Super Ultimates and it was pretty short since there weren't a whole lot of Strike Ultimates compared to Key Blast Ultimates. So I'll go over which ones I recommend as if you haven't seen my Will It Combo video for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, I show off uh, the Heavy Light Heavy Light combo, which works with both female Earthlings and female Saiyans, that you can use to string them into an ultimate that will connect even if you haven't landed a stamina break. So check that video out if you can. I'll probably mention uh, a lot of those skills as well in this video too. So with that out of the way, let's show off all these ultimates. Alright, so we'll show off the uh, first few that are obvious. These are the couple of the ones that did combo. The first one is the most basic one, Super Kamehameha. As you can see though, Tien got in front of it and blocked it, but it does great damage. And it does a lot of... has good range and a lot of damage on it. Yeah, whatever, mister. Great for single targets. Less effective on crowds, of course. But you can see you can combo into it using the heavy light, heavy light as a female earthling. I got him at a stamina break, but this also combos into that. The times four Kamehameha. The times four Kaioken Kamehameha. It's almost kind of like an ultimate version of the boost Kamehameha, which... I didn't mention in the other one, but I think the regular Kamehameha is actually better than the uh, Burst. So you can fire it out by itself at three, or you can add an additional uh, Key Blast to extend the, the hits. The extended hits don't seem to do as much damage. But if you time it right, you can get a bunch of hits and do a lot of damage. This one is actually uh, unique to Saiyans exclusive to them. This is Saiyan Spirit. You can see it knocks them down to the ground and you can follow it up with a second ultimate. You can even do that if their stamina hasn't been broken. I'll try to demonstrate that. As you can see, you can follow it up with a second ultimate and that time he had full stamina. He didn't try to evasive out of it. So yeah, Saiyan Spirit can actually combo into other ultimates if you have the key for it. And if you're using uh, skills or super souls that boost your damage, like with ultimates and such, you can do a tremendous amount. Here's another uh, ultimate that's similar to uh, Saiyan Spirit and can be used by anyone, is Brave Heat. You don't do the knockback uh, shockwave, but you will uh, jump forward to punch the opponent and then you do a flying punch and you can knock it you can actually get it off most combos like as long as the combo doesn't knock them downwards you'll usually land this one even without a stamina break though they could vanish and avoid the attack come on everybody get close yeah, he's running away now because he knows I'm trying to do this yeah, but Gohan's saying that because I hit him with it and caught him off guard. But yeah, when the enemy's not running away from you like Tien is, you can actually uh, get all of them with the super key explosion. I'm gonna try it again. This time I'll target Gohan. Oh, I've already taken him, almost taken him out with this. Somehow he input read me and knew I was going to try to use it. Well, let's see how he handles this. Yeah, unless they input read you like they did there. Let's see if I can set it up in a combo. I didn't take out Tien with it, but as you saw, I got Krillin. Tien's just being a jerk. But yeah, you can use this one in crowds, and you'll usually hit more than one target if you have multiple opponents. As you can see, I've already almost beaten Gohan without even having to fight him. These two ultimates you actually start the game with, but they're really good. The first is full power energy wave. 
I'll show it off real quick. Not only will it combo, but it can combo off of other uh, things as well. Like anything you could land a super destructo disc off of with it comes to a knockback, you can knock full you can land full power energy wave. I'll show off the other one as soon as I can get him at a knockback. Like this one you also start the game with and don't have to unlock. He's not being cooperative, but I broke his stamina, so he'll cooperate now. After any knockback, you can do full power energy blast volley. It'll do a lot of damage, and the shots will home in on the target after a knockback. There's that delay again. I almost feel like I should talk about it now instead of waiting for the uh, what the AI likes to do video that I'm working on. Yeah, try that, Kaba. Yeah, reverse Maku Busenko is a counter move. Hey, let's see you get away now. Of course, off a stamina break combo, you can fire a special beam cannon. There's a Super Soul that also boosts Special Beam Cannon's damage by a lot, called Sorry for the Wait, Are You Ready? Which you can use to also inflict lots of damage. On any Stamina Break combo, it's really good. And if you can catch them off guard with it, you can break... It's unblockable, so they'll just take the hit without uh, being able to do anything much about it. Of course, if they input read it and know it's coming, then it won't help too much. Like you can see I did that downward thing, finish it with a special beam cannon to end the combo. Here's another one that'll go off of the uh, heavy light, heavy light combo is Final Flash. It does plenty of damage too, and is basically uh, the equivalent of the Super Kamehameha when it comes to that. Here's another one that can you use after doing a teleport, or if the, or if the opponent uh, vanishes, is the Heat Dome attack. If they have no uh, stamina like that, and don't use Mighty Explosive Wave like Kaba just did. And they get behind you, just fire off the Heat Dome attack, and they usually will not have a defense against it. Like, he'll vanish up, but if he vanishes behind me, I'm gonna go for the Heat Dome attack. It's a really good way to catch the comms off guard, and they usually fall for it. Even the high, uh, difficulty comms like Kaba here. Show off a couple of ultimates that are really good for crowd fights. If you can get a stamina break to knock someone down, and you got a lot of people coming, use Innocent's Breath. It's unblockable, and it sweeps across the area, so anybody nearby will get hit by it. And they'll take a lot of damage, too, because it hits pretty hard. This is probably one of the best ones for fighting crowds of uh, comms and PQs. Just look at that, you can hit almost everyone with it when they decide to get too close to you. You can see Deborah, Majub, and Gohan Absorbed Boo are already almost done. See if I can finish all of them off with this one. I <laughs> got all three of them. This one's not as crazy good as as Innocence's Breath, but it can be used after a knockback. Is a uh, Ill Rain or Assault Rain. What you do is you, after a knockback, you can fire this, and it'll fire uh, energy blasts at everybody in the area. Like I just knocked Hit away, then I fire Assault Rain, and it will attack all of your opponents. Most of them will probably block it since it's not unblockable like Innocent's Breath. But that can still uh, chip away at everyone in the uh, fight, not just the person you're targeting. So it's something to consider. So I'll show off another uh, good for single targets that you can use as a combo. That you can use in a combo. This is Teleport Vanishing Ball. With certain uh, skills, you can even follow it up with another attack. You also th you just use it at close range, and they usually won't have a defense against it, other than guarding or using an evasive, which means you can cut a lot of their stamina down. This one's another crowd skill. What you do is you stun your target, untarget him, and then do times 100 Big Bang Kamehameha. And you'll do this move where you turn around and sweep it. 
You can see I hit just about everyone with it. Alright, let's try again. You can see I took out Oob. The sweep took out Debora. It's not as good as Innocent's Breath for doing that, but it is still pretty good. Mainly because Innocent's Breath can't be blocked and, you know... Sometimes 100 Big Bang Kamehameha can be blocked. This one I also covered in my Will It Combo video, and yes it does. Of course, Frost isn't going to catch him and try it. You want to run, that's fine. I just want to do this combo. Yeah, Warp Kamehameha can also be used in a combo like that. You can also use it in any Stamina Break combo, obviously. But then I'll show you the highest 5 damage Key Blast Ultimate. The Soul Punisher. Best way to do it is on a heavy smash that sends the opponent down and stuns them. But there are other ways to land it too. Because Soul Punisher also has something that could almost be considered a back hit of it. There's a back hit version. Some combos land into it. Although, yeah. I find the best way to use it is to uh, just use a heavy smash on the opponent or a combo that sends them to the ground after their stamina has been broken and then when, as they get up use the soul punisher to hit them. It costs five uh, key bars to use it but it does the highest damage of any super of any uh, key blast ultimate that costs five. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest I don't really know how to land the combo here. I'm sure someone in the comments will know. Well, as soon as I can get Frieza's attention, I'll show off a couple of the other useful ones I find. And if Frost will let me do him. He's out of stamina now, so he won't be able to vanish. But I'll show off a combo you can pull off with it. Come on, Frieza. Cooperate with me. I need you to do a vanish. Well, there's Elegant Blaster. This one's good if the t if you have allies and your opponent is targeting you, and or if you have multiple opponents targeting you at once with allies. Here's the other one. It's Mystic Flash. You see, I used it in that combo to fire backwards into the shot where they where he'd fly past me, which you can do. But it also works as a counter to having to deal with them uh, teleporting behind you, doing vanishes. You can also do this, just do a back hit as you start your combo and during a stamina break and you'll get him. Now you better focus on me. There we go, when he vanishes you can fire up. I'm gonna fit this in with each other. There's Super Black Kamehameha and there's Super Black Kamehameha Rosé. Now for five key bars, Rosé does more damage but costs more key and has a slower uh, punch on the start so you can't combo it into basic combos like you can the uh, super black Kamehameha. What you can do though is, is combo it pretty easily into uh, into stamina break combos and you can also just throw it out to see if the AI is not ready for it. Of course if they block or dodge it you'll be in trouble. The other one I have is Requiem of Destruction. Which is one of Vados's, which is Vados's ultimate, as I showed off in the. Uh... <laughs> oh, that worked. He actually can't break my stamina there. I was actually going for the other uh, thing, Requiem of Destruction, but Kaba's uncooperative. But yeah, it will combo if I can land it. There we go. And you see it catches them out of the air and then you can do pretty decent damage with it. I don't think it'll land off of a regular combo. I'll Here's another one I covered in my Will It Combo video and it works with uh, female humans as well even without a stamina break. This Grand Smasher. For three key bars you'll fire off the shot. Here you let me get him with a stamina break but it can work out of one without one too. You wait a couple seconds after it hits, and then you hit it and you'll use a second uh, key 
crossbar to explode it, and that'll make it do additional damage. Here's the other one. You can see I used it off as block, and I used Evil Blast. That will, uh, it's basically a counter move. What you want to do is a attack a, an enemy, and if they block, Defeat. interrupt your own combo that they're blocking with Evil Blast, and you'll get them with it. And from what I've seen, the comms never defend against Evil Blast, even though players can't escape from the attack before it fires. And you see there, he vanished and went for an attack, but I countered with Evil Blast. Let's see if we try something else. Nope, he flew in and grabbed. Something else the comms like to do. And you can see it lasts a while. He fully charged up his kick and still got hit. Alright, we'll talk about a couple more ultimates that can combo off the uh, heavy light, heavy light. The first is Remote Serious Bomb. This one's also good because you can throw it out and most comms won't have a defense. And then you can get it off any knockback hit and detonate it. We'll get him again. We'll also show off the other combo. His God Punisher. You can fire it off early or just let the animation play out and you'll catch them each time. You'll throw a bunch of key blasts at them like that. It'll show off more of a remote serious bomb. You can get it off basically any knockback. You don't even have to do a stamina break to get it. And you can even combo it into other uh, ultimates. I'll have to try and show off an example of that. Yeah, with a remote serious bomb, you can actually do some really good damage if you get it off right. So put the remote serious bomb on him. Oh, come on. Now they're going to stop me from doing it because they know what I'm trying to do. Get him with this. I think I lost the remote serious bomb. Oh, no, I didn't. But as you saw, I comboed into it. Yeah, you can actually combo the explosive of Remote Serious Bomb into other ultimates. That makes it uh, really good if you combine it with the right ones. I talked about e Ribrian's Eternal Love in the same video where I talked about the Key Blast Supers, since it's tied to Pretty Cannon. I received uh, some comments that told me that Pretty Cannon stacks up to six times to boost uh, Ribrian's Eternal Love. So yeah, Ribrian's Eternal Love itself can be difficult to hit. The best time I find to use it is during your combo, while the enemy's still close up, because usually the comms won't be able to input read it and come to a defense. Like if I start the combo and then use it, it'll usually get them. And again, based on how many times you've managed to hit your opponent with pretty... hit someone with pretty cannon up to six times, you'll be able to uh, boost its damage. There we go. Then we'll show that off real quick. I want to try to find a hit that'll keep him close to you. And then fire. Because I find it works best at close range. Because if they dash around, they can they can burst dash to hit you from behind and break your stamina. Even though fighting Ribrianne, sometimes that doesn't work for me. This time he goes for it. Break his stamina. Or not. <laughs> but you'll see here, if they don't input read it, they won't break your stamina in time. And the hearts, that when you slam them together, will knock them back and set them up for the hit. This ultimate won't combo into the heavy light, heavy light with a female earthling or a female saiyan, so you have to get it off on a stamina break or in a combo where you're pretty sure you'll hit them, but it's prominence flash. It does a lot of damage on its own. It'll do less than a final flash on the first shot, but each uh, consecutive shot after that actually does more damage than final flash. I think the uh, the damage stacks a number of times as well. Kind of like uh, when you boost a skill like Kamehameha with a Super Soul. And it boosts your stats up to six times. I don't know how many times this boosts. It's probably six, since most other things seem to be. 
And I'll show off the other one. This one's also another pretty good one for crowds. I don't think it's as good as Innocent's Breath, but it is still pretty helpful. His gigantic roar. When soloing, this is a pretty decent move. Although you see there, I didn't actually hit with it. Even though it sweeps vertically rather than horizontally. It, it can't be blocked like uh, Innocent's Breath, but it costs more key, and unless you're low on health, it'll actually do less damage. Let's see if I can get someone more aggressive to work with me here. Now here's what I'll do. I'll move down to where Gohan is. Fire the wrong ultimate. This is getting dangerous. I meant to fire a gigantic roar there. But yeah, you don't want to fire this one recklessly because they can input read it. Like you see I broke it off there, but I don't think I hit Krillin or Piccolo with it. Yeah, honestly, if you're looking for an unblockable sweeping ultimate, I would suggest Innocent's Breath over Gigantic Roar. What's that? And yeah, never bring this ultimate to raids either, or any co-op fight, because the the hit will put the enemy into a per into a long invulnerability state that lasts as long as Gigantic Roar does. So yeah, just don't do it. Plus he managed to get out of it with Special Beam Cannon. It only hits one time, but given it gives him such a long invulnerability when it hits them, yeah, it's not that useful. Here's one that actually benefits quite a lot from being a hybrid character, since to build it up you can use Holy Inscription. You might remember I mentioned Holy Inscription, as well as the skills that go with it from the Supreme Kai of Time's arsenal. You can see, even with zero in my strike supers as Casina, I was able to crush Beerus using only it. That's pretty impressive. Imagine if I was using that on a strike character. But I'll show off the other move it powers up. I showed off that it does that with uh, Temporal Holy Ray and Kairos Cannon, but there's another skill you can power up using using the Holy Inscription, and that's the Godly Kronos Cannon. Once you activate the Godly Kronos Cannon, you've got yourself uh, four blasts that you can send off in any combo, and they'll stick with you until a cutscene plays. You can get them off most combos, too. And because you boosted them up with uh, the Holy Inscription, they'll do a lot of damage. Look at that, he even vanished in do to dodge the knockback, and I still got him with it. But yeah, that'll do a lot. If you're playing a hybrid class, the Supreme Kai of Time's uh, Holy Inscription, in coupled with the uh, Godly Kronos Cannon, make an incredible combination for damage. All you gotta do is knock an opponent back to activate it. They usually won't be able to recover in time to come after you and break your stamina. But you can see it does a lot of damage, plus you can rush in and do more combos. So it's actually pretty easy to infinite with and do all kinds of fun stuff with. So I'll do this, fire, and I'll be able to finish off Boo before his stamina recovers with it. So that's a really good one. This one can be used as a 6-bar ultimate, which will do massive damage. He went Super Saiyan there, but if you hold the button down while using Thunder Flash, you'll spend an additional 3 bars of key with it, and do even more damage than you would normally. Best way to do it is to knock him down with broken stamina, and then hold the button down. You can see I just obliterated Cabo with it. And remember, this is the uh, high defense enemies. I'll show off the other one that I know a lot of people like because of the nature of it, but I'll show it off. Oh, you're gonna run away, Frost? Well, I got something for you to run from. This is Destructive Fission. He can run all he wants. It will stop his Key Blasts. Even if he did, like, a Key Blast Ultimate, this skill will stop that. Once he's in it, you can detonate it yourself by hitting the input for it again. I mean, it does do a lot of damage, but the fact that it will chase your opponent, albeit very slowly, but also coupled with the fact that they will... <laughs> that they will not be able to run away from it for very long, it's best used to set up for a charge, since 
if they try to catch up to you, it'll likely catch them. And of course, you can combine it with other uh, ultimates that are faster. Thunder Flash, not so much, but if you had like a Super Kamehameha or other uh, ultimates that come out quickly. Alright, so I replaced uh, Thunder Flash on Casino with Final Flash. We're going to try combining that with the Destructive Fission to show how you can combine the Destructive Fission with other ultimates to do more damage. You could probably also use other super attacks as well, which would probably be easier to do. Like if you had a beam uh, strike super, or a, or a beam key blast super, you could probably do it pretty easily. Yeah, we'll throw out the destructive fission. We'll go after Beerus while it's after him. Once it gets him... Well, he kind of escaped it. So yeah, that wasn't a good example. We probably have to wait for it to hit him from further away. I'll try again. You saw, if you want to combine ultimates into each other, the best skill for that is remote serious bomb. Get rid of Beerus real quick. And then we'll try the trick on someone else. There you go. You can see I also hit the final flash after Destructive Fission exploded and did a lot of damage to 18. We'll cover all the dual ultimates for this part. A dual ultimate requires you to have a second... have an ally that can use it with you. You'll see I brought Whis and Parasy. Now Whis uses it because I'm going to demonstrate it with dual Symphonic Destruction, which is the one specific to Whis. The other... The other character is my other uh, CAC I'm using, where my other custom avatar. They're not the most reliable when it comes to this. Though, then again, neither are some players. But yeah. While using it, you'll be invulnerable to damage, but I don't think you can actually harm anyone else with it. Like, even though uh, dual symphonic destruction does do a decent sweep around, it doesn't do a whole lot of, uh, to anyone else other than your target. And yeah, you'll need a partner to use it, whether it's a custom avatar or the character that the dual ultimate, uh, comes from. And of course, if they go down, you'll have to revive them, and then you won't be able to use the dual ultimate. And right there, they didn't use it. Sometimes you won't be able to get it at all. And that'll cover it for all the uh, Key Blast ultimates, as well as dual ultimates. Like I said, they all function the same. You just have to have the partner to go with it, and you'll use it together, whether it's a another custom character. It can be any custom character of any race, or it can be the character that you got the ultimate from. For example, like with Symphonic Destruction, like I demonstrated, you'd have to have Whis as a partner. If you use a uh, Gigantic Meteor, it would be Broly. Super Kamehameha has two du versions of the Dual Ultimate. One that works with Goku, and one that works with Adult Gohan. There's a Dual Justice combination that requires you have Videl as your partner, and, you know, and so on. And there is one Dual Ultimate that is unique from the others, but I'm going to cover it in the next video, where I'm going to go over the miscellaneous skills and talk about those, including uh, the, the miscellaneous ultimates. So, yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see you for the next video.